Hi, can you introduce yourself and your company? Yes, so my name is Alexandra. I'm working as a partnership manager for DressX. Um, DressX is an American startup in digital fashion. Uh, what problem are you guys trying to solve? Um, so basically, we're trying to help brands and boards in different environments uh, to enhance their marketing um, activities. Um, for instance, we're proposing like I would say plus plus solutions for brands for their marketing activities. So we are digitizing their garments uh, and creating them and onboarding them on different environments. Why we're doing so? Because uh, there are a lot of brands they want to target new markets, new generations. So that's why we're proposing them to onboard on Roblox and Zepeta, on Meta, um, also on Snapbit Moji. And then afterwards, we're also proposing different solutions uh, for people to try on, to be able to try on garments in, in the, the, the present moment. So we're creating AR filters that can be onboarded on your website or on your retail store. And we also have different, uh, I would say, Gen AI and AI solutions that help people to try on the clothes instantly. Who would you say your primary customers are? Uh, you mean what type of brands or, uh, or like, yeah, yeah like where are you trying to sell it to the product? So we are basically we're saying selling solutions to different brands. It can be luxury brand, it can be mainstream brand or or even mass market brand. Uh, the idea is to help these brands to enhance their customer experience but also their brand experience. All right, so at iStaging, we specialize in creating digital twins and virtual showrooms. How do you think our solutions can be used in your product? I think it can be a very beautiful synergy. So as you are creating the grounds and experiences, and we are, I would say, a, a fashion tech leader in fashion and everything which is wearables and beauty, uh, we can guys provide you uh, with really qualitative materials uh, for your experiences and everything you are creating. And uh, we are missing this type of activities. I mean, everything which is experience in the ground. Can you talk a bit more about how your company uses virtual reality solutions already? Um, so we are using, I mean, we have, we do have our experiences in some virtual reality, for instance, uh, we had some experiences in the central end. Um, we also actually have a, it, I would say, a secret project with Meta, um, but uh, also for their, so they are producing a game and we um, will be somehow part of it. Um, and then we also, uh, it's, it's our way to, I would say, entertain our community because also as a brand and as a startup, we have our own powerful community and we are providing that we have our own app uh, where people can interact and uh, try on our ARs. We have our, our website. So, yes, there are different ways to use it. Uh, um, as DressX as a brand, it's to interact with our community, uh, entertain our community. But then we we'll also propose it to the brands as B2B. Mm -hmm. So both of our companies are trying to enhance the customer experience through virtual interactions. Um, what kind of feedback have you already received from users? So users are very happy, especially I would say Gen Z and Gen Alpha. Uh, they would be, I think it's, uh, I would say 70%, 80% of our customer. Um, and they, they like it because uh, uh, for, for instance, AR it promises a lot of transparency, uh, AI the same, uh, it's fun, it's playful, they can be whoever they want, who, whatever they want, and you know, and it's playful, it's fun, uh, and it's also kind of attaches them to the brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Um, so can you share a success story where a client or yourself has benefited from the technology? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, let's see if, uh, if I can show you this. So this is our Resex AR mirror. Uh, so it can be used in our retails, uh, in, in retail spaces or pop up everything which is brick and mortar, basically physical. So we can build the screen. It can be absolutely branded. All the environment can be absolutely branded. And then you can try on. Um, yeah, let me show you different clothes. For instance, this one we used for a Japanese brand, Ipsa, the group Shiseido. Um, so the idea was they were uh, launching a new product 
uh, which is very uh, makes you feel glow and hydrated so they wanted us to create uh, different ARs using um, Yes, using water. So water was the inspiration. So we created these types of ARs and uh, people really like to interact to create content. With this tool, you can create content. So as you see here, you can create content and you can download it. So you just have to scan it and you have it direct on your phone and you can share it on your social networks. All right, thank you. Um, looking ahead, how do you envision the integration of digital twins and virtual showrooms? Uh, so yes, there are there are different ways of doing this. So uh, first of all, we need to digitize the garment, uh, and it's it's a long process uh, because most of the brands they don't have any uh, 3D files. So we need to start with the 3D files, and then afterwards digitize them, and then to create the space where it will be showcased. But it's uh, uh, for me, and I really sincerely believe in this, it's, uh, it's, it's our future because instead of producing, overproducing garments, uh, we will just create digital showrooms where people can browse and order the garments, I mean, the wholesale customer. And then, uh, and then yes, it just, you know, it's more sustainable, it's better, it's better for everyone. All right. Um so another question I have is that data privacy and security are crucial for both of our technologies. Uh, how does DressX address those concerns, especially with regards to like uh, user data? So we have, uh, when you go to our website, uh, purchasing something, or where you're using our app, uh, you can actually, so there is a policy where you have to sign that we can use or not use your content uh, or your content will be deleted straight away as soon as it's created. So we do, I mean, especially as an American company, uh, we are really super, I would say, strict to it. And uh, uh, we're really res respecting, uh, I would say, privacy of our clients because also our apply we have another solution where our clients have to upload their picture uh, in order to dress it. So some of them uploading their pictures just wearing underwear. So that's why all these pictures are deleted straight away. Um, they're, 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 they're not hosted on our website or stuff like this. And there are different you know, places when they can read the policies, what happens afterwards with the content, or if they don't want anything to happen, they just have to sign. I mean, there are different, you know, every time you are browsing our website or app, uh, you just have to sign if you want to to keep your content or then otherwise you just don't keep it. All right, thank you. Um, my last question is, what upcoming projects or products are you excited about? Uh, you mean in ER or? Uh, it could just be in general. Um, well, I'm very, I'm very actually excited about Roblox, I would say. I like uh, everything what is going on right now in Roblox and myself, even if I'm uh, a bit old for Roblox, uh, but myself I'm using a lot and I like to see what's going on, the experiences, uh, like uh, for instance, many different brands, Paris Hilton, Fenty Beauty, they did a really amazing experience there and I'm super excited about these products. I'm super excited about trying on and living all these experiences. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome.